Hi guys, welcome to another Brushmaster video. I'm painting the steel spikes on the Daybreak Orc bust today. Um, I'm starting the first layers here with anthracite grey. And all I'm trying to do here, I'm just trying to pick out the areas on the spikes which are going to catch the most light. Now we're going to be painting these as uh, a steel NMM. So at the moment I'm just establishing where the planes of light are and where I want to establish my little bright spots or my little sparkles as we like to call them. So right here I've got anthracite grey, it's watered down a little bit um, but it's a really nice base colour to start steel and I'll be adding in blue grey as I have done here and grey blue as we go which are the it's the triad of colours that I nearly always use for steel so this mix here is a little bit lighter because of the blue grey and I'm just painting a lot of the edges and trying to just emphasize those little spots of light as you can see here on a couple of the spots I've got like round patchy areas of light that I'm painting and these are the areas I'm gonna work to as I work through these spikes now as I go through this I'll I constantly monitor how those areas look whether I can see brush lines in them or transition lines and I tend to mix up a little glaze now and again and I just brush over those to smooth the brush lines and the transitions out. But what I also do with these, you'll see, is I constantly highlight the edges because on objects like these that are quite sharp, the edges are always going to catch the light. So I tend to go over the edges a fair few times just to keep emphasizing the light and building up the opacity of color on those edges. I want those to stand out. Those, those edges are what are going to give it that very angular and NMM feel at the finish. So adding in more blue-grey now, um, as you can see this tone is a really nice bluish grey, but it's not overly blue, so it doesn't look like a corny NMM at the end, but I think I'm almost at pure blue-grey now, and you can see the brightness is starting to show. So those layers of thin down paint that I'm adding are starting to really shine and the little glow spots that I have and the planes of light that I have are starting to look brighter and brighter. But this, these colors, the blue gray, the anthracite gray, they, they end up a very steel-like color. That's why I use them. And they build up to a nice lightness in value, but without being too garish and saturated. So that, that's why I use these colors and the end effect looks really nice I think. It's, this is a color combination I've used for quite a long time now and it's, it's my real go-to for steel. Um, and I can paint this in different ways as well. So with these three colors I can paint either very bright or I can paint it very dull. So that's an important thing to note when you're using colors, there's different ways to apply them like 
larger areas of light will look brighter or you can keep the colors more to the edges and keep more of the dark anthracite blue in there. The base color, by the way, was dark sea blue. So it's got a nice, almost black base coat that I started from, and I'm leaving a lot of that color showing through in the shadow areas and the darker tones. The tones here now, I've started to add little bits of the blue-gray into the mix that I had. And from here on in, I'm really focusing and concentrating on the tops of the spikes, the edges, any sort of spiky bits where two lines meet, and just little bits of the surface areas of the upward facing planes. So I'm really trying to establish very bright spots from here on in. Um, and this is what's important about NMM. Uh, to paint it to look convincing, you really have to have high contrast. Um, so you've got to try and keep a lot of the dark shadows as close to black as you can if you're painting steel and get the highlights as close to white or a very high value as possible. But with steel and metal, I try, try to keep the highlights small. So they need to be in little small areas that really produce that shine. And the last step I'll do at the end is what I tend to do is to take my lightest mitt, my mix, which will be the pure gray blue. And then I go around and highlight all the little cuts. So sculpted into these spikes, these little chips and cuts. And I just tend to two step thing. I go through and highlight the cuts up on the bottom edge of the cut, the bit that will catch the light. And then if I need to, I'll go back with the dark sea blue and just emphasize the inside of the cup, so where the actual black line is. Thanks for watching guys, and join me next time for another Brushmaster video.